from you. See how long you can That's from uh, the music man. Do it again. See this? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have the skull well of a cat. Kitty. I want you to look at his teeth and tell me what order you think it is. Well, I killed that cat. In so, what are the problems? We killed a cat. Because it's a small cat. Yeah. Is it like a healthy cat? Yep. It's a big cat. Wait, I like this. I feel like it's really good. Hey, Pat. I don't like that too. What's our small problem? Everyone said that. What's our small problem? Here's the problem. Listen. Stop talking. Stop talking. EGF. When I say stop talking, don't continue to talk. For stop talking at that point. The syllabus is screwed up. Friday it says we have a certain class. We can't have that because we don't have school on Friday. So here's what I'm doing. I had actually put three days on the syllabus for this chapter, chapter 30. We're going to do it in two. Ooh. So we're skipping. the the. Today was supposed to be some of yesterday's lecture and some of tomorrow's lecture. We're skipping that. I'm just going to do tomorrow's lecture today. So just mark off today and move everything back a day and we'll be back on syllabus. Okay? Everything back a day. We'll be back on syllabus by Thursday. Wait, so what do we read tonight? So tonight you read 30.2. Okay? So today we're lecturing on 32. And the quiz tomorrow could be on 32 if we have a quiz. Since we don't have one today, we almost certainly will have one tomorrow. Yes? Just one minute. Pro Go ahead. Yesterday, why did we watch the intro? Why did we do what? We just like watched the intro. We watched the end. It was the end. To what? Video. Oh, we're going to watch it today. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to watch it again. Okay. Like so, if you would please turn in your book to chapter 30. Is this on? Absolutely. How good are you, Drew? Very good. Page 30, page 889, section 30.2. 889, section 30.2. <laughs> The diversity of mammals. I want to see. Baby red kangaroo. Okay. We have. I'm good, thanks. Uh. All right, listen up. We need, listen. we need some more light. J, J, J. Listen. That's good. Okay, my turn. What kingdom are, are we studying right now? Do you know? Mammalia. Mammalia. We are in phylum. Does anyone know? Mammalia. Mammalia. Chordata. We are in class. Remember kingdom, phylum, class? Mammalia. Order now, there are three um, subclasses that we'll study. Monotremes, marsupials, and placentals. Now, these are three major groups. After class comes Kingdom, phylum, class, do y'all remember what's next? Order. order. Order, and we're going to memorize the orders of the placentals. But first we want the three subclasses. Monotremes. Subclass. Marsupials. And then finally subclass. Placentals. I'll talk about the monotremes and the marsupials first, and then we'll look at the placental orders 
those are the ones that are going to be on your uh, that all your cards are going to be about. Also, you want one card on the monotremes and one card on the marsupials. When is the test on Wednesday. Wednesday. Woden's Day. Yes. When are we taking what they were doing? By next Wednesday. What thing? <laughs> From the project. What project? The no cards. Only project that you just signed. The no cards? Yeah. You already know what thing you're doing. You're doing all of them. You're doing all of them. <laughs> <laughs> you thought, wait, you're doing only one. No, each person, y'all do. Each person does all the, all. The, you're gonna do how many cards? Fifteen. Fourteen. Fourteen cards. Each person does fourteen cards. <laughs> it's due with the test. They have the test. <laughs> Here we go, monotremes. This is a monotreme. A monotreme is an egg-laying mammal. And it used to be the only, all the mammals were egg-laying. Egg-laying is one of the first things to, egg-laying actually is what the reptiles do. And mammals evolved from reptiles, and I'll show you that evolution later. So all the mammals were egg-laying, but they all went extinct. There's only two species that survived that. And that is the echidna. This is the spiny echidna. Something you've probably never seen before. His hairs have been modified into pointy spikes, kind of like a porcupine. Bro, I've eaten one of those before. And there's the duck billed platypus. Yeah, the which, really good cookies. There's an echidna strolling along. And there's the duck billed platypus. Oh my god, I want one! It looks like a log. Video footage. Quiet, please. The duck billed platypus is a species of egg laying mammal called a monotreme. It has a rubbery bill, webbed feet, and a flattened tail. These animals spend several hours a day diving and swimming. Instead of laying eggs and leaving the eggs out where they could possibly be found and eaten by predators, you have the baby in a pouch connected to your body and you carry them around with you until they're grown up enough. It's better than eggs because eggs you have to, you, the mother can leave and, and if the eggs are left alone they can be killed. So the, uh, keep them in a pouch, that's the marsupials. And when the, after the marsupials evolved, they kind of spread around the planet. Actually, not in the northern hemispheres, but in the southern hemispheres, in South America and Australia and Antarctica. Antarctica was actually further north back when these things evolved. And so there were marsupials all over Antarctica. But when Antarctica moved so far south, it got so cold that everything uh, went extinct there, too. But uh, so they develop in a pouch, and we have many, many different types. The possum is one of them. The possum actually moved north as soon as North America and South America came together and formed a little land bridge between them. Some possums came to North America. Some. Now, the uh, the possum. Th this it was a successful way of protecting your young, having them in a pouch. But pretty soon, another group evolved, the placentals. Now, instead of even a better way to protect your young, instead of having them in a pouch in front of your body where a predator could possibly get at them, why not have them inside your body where a predator would have to actually kill the mother to get to the young? And that's what developed next. They're called the placental mammals. Placental means that the baby develops inside the mother in, in the uterus and the uterus is ta attached to a placenta that's a feeding organ that the baby feeds off of. 
We are all placental mammals. And there are a lot of different groups of placental mammals that we'll talk about. Oh, wait, the koala, that's a marsupial, too. Yeah, Jay? The monotremes didn't have pouches. They lay eggs. I know, but they said it involved in marsupials. Oh, what, Oregon in them evolves into a pouch? Something on their stomach, I don't know. The pouch is actually outside, so far they're at the dermis. <laughs> Video footage of koalas! Baby koala! Mother koala! Now, I have a video in just a second, we'll watch it, shows lots of koalas. Now listen! The the uh, marsupials are now only found in Australia. The marsupials are now only found in Australia. And the reason why is because the placentals evolved. And they basically outcompeted and drove to extinction all the marsupials, except for the ones that were on Australia and the possum. The possum has somehow survived. And, it, and has just has this niche where it has been able to survive, but all the other marsupials went extinct. The ones that were on Australia, the marsup the placentals never got to Australia. And have only recently, in the last couple of hundred years, started to arrive there on ships and stuff taken by Americans. And now the marsupials are starting to have problems on Australia. Mm -hmm rats and wild dogs and things that have come to Australia, have been brought by humans, are kind of starting to outcompete the marsupials. And maybe in another 50,000, 100,000 years, there won't be any marsupials on Australia. Were dingoes brought to Australia? Yes. Yes. A dingo even made it. Brought on ships from Europe and Asia. Um, Do they still live in Europe and Asia? I'm not sure. That's a good question. Then you get a I did not know. You know, I was at my camp counselor, my old camp counselor, she was from Australia. Yes. And they have to have, she has a pet kangaroo. Yeah. And but you have to have a permit. Ah. And she has a um person that lives in her house with her, like a roommate. And the roommate Yeah. And the roommate was taking care of it while she was at camp. And the kangaroo ran away. It hopped over the fence. Wow. And, um. Kangaroo on the loose. And they're not allowed to, like, put, like, tags on them or, like, any way to, like, um, identify them. Yeah. Well, sure the and so she got a, she got a phone call. The office called her and was like, your kangaroo ran away. And then she started crying and then realized that the kangaroo was pregnant and it came back. Ah. With the baby. Good. So, so it worked out. Bennett! Uh, yeah. 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 Speaking of animals on the loose, did you hear about uh, like the zebras and stuff that are on the highway in Atlanta? They got out of the Atlanta Zoo. I think I did hear about that. Yeah. 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 yeah, they got out of like, the zoo and they're like running down the highway. Yeah. And, uh, that's awesome. And then, uh, is it legal to own a tiger or a lion? Yes. Yeah. In, in the country? I, I don't yeah. know. Yes. I guess so. Uh, did you hear about the story of those two guys who, like, Raise that one cub or something like that. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then yeah. they went back and asked so a year right. later. That video. Right. Right. Yes. Um, Sigmund and Tor. Sigmund and Tor. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Chiropteras are bats, the only flying mammals. I caught them all ones. Primates include monkeys, apes, and humans. My dog catches moles all the time. Xenarthra, anteaters, sloths, armadillos. Rodentia, those are the rodents. Squirrels, hamsters, rats, mice, beavers, woodchucks. They all have big incisors, big front teeth. Lagomores, the rabbits, pikas, and hares. And you got to memorize all of these. This, these will be on the test. Carnivores, dogs, cats, wolves, lions, tigers, bears, oh my. Dinosaurs. Proboscidea are the elephants. I like elephants. Also include the extinct versions. Mammoths. Mammoths. And, uh... Uh, what's the other one? Mammoths and there's another one. Mastodon. Mastodon, thank you. Sirenia, the manatees and dugongs. We see manatees swimming around here. Do we? I don't see one. I see one. Perissodactyls are the horses, zebras, and rhinos. They have an odd number of toes and are hooved. The artiodactyls are hooved, but they have an even number of toes. Deer, antelopes, cattle, sheep, pigs, goats. They are all even toed. Heep, heep, pup. Two toes or heep, four pup. toes. Anonymous? Horses have two hooves. Horses have one, don't they? One hoof. Don't they have a hoof? Cetaceans are whales, dolphins, and porpoises. Now they've left out a couple, but these are all the ones you need to make cards on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14. One card from Monitor Trains, one card from our Fields. So 14 cards, and that's your project. Yes? What is a dugong? A dugong is a manatee. Related to a manatee. Okay. White tailed deer? I'll show you the picture. You tell me because you've already memorized this the order. Oh, I shot one of those the other day. Deer, what order? Don't look back at the table. Oh, so, Oscar, deer. So, Ostatoli Peters. Artiodactyl. Okay. Lion. Carnivora, or whatever it's called. Carnivora. Monkey. Oh, Primates. Primates. Yeah. Leah's all over it. Well. The one with the C. Orca. Brogan. Blowhole. You know what I'm talking about. Blowhole. Cetacea. Yeah, I know the elephant. You want to see a dramatic yes. Yes. killer whale video? Yes. It's very dramatic. It's very dramatic. It's very dramatic. It's going to be a fake dramatic. He gets, a, he gets a seal. He gets a seal, please. See the other one, bro. Way to potato. Way is holding a tiger. What cheetah. Order? cheetah. What order? Leopard. It's a cheetah. What order? Carnivorous. Carnivorous. Way is sitting on a a camel, which is a. Ardeo dactyla. Holding the leopard. I don't know if that's a leopard or a cheetah. I think it's a it looks like a cheetah because leopards have like an animal. Now, all mammals, listen, all mammals evolved from the therapsid. The therapsid is basically the, the mammal ancestor. It's got uh, both mammal and reptile features, so we know that mammals came from reptiles. Uh, basically, they have uh, they have a pair of holes in the roof of the skull, allows for the attachment of jaw muscles. They have their limbs positioned beneath their bodies. So instead of the arms and legs out to the side, the arms and legs are further under. And all mammals have that further underneath the limbs, and that allows them to move more efficiently than reptiles. We think they're probably endotherms. If you look at their bone structure, they have a bone... Certain little holes in their bones that 
suggests that they are warm-blooded, whereas reptiles are cold-blooded. And here's what the Therats have looked like. That's how did the know? ancestor. How did I know he was gray and not like bright orange? Well, they guess on the color. That's a good, that's a good oh, question. Oh, are you saying he's actually Therapsid? Therapsid. Therapsid. Oh, they're saying Therapsid. 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 I always thought that. How, why was the dinosaur brown? Cynodons were next. They had stronger jaws and a higher metabolic rate. Then came the uh, hair, memory glands, skin glands of the early mammals, and the teeth, the different types of teeth. Then came the egg-laying mammals, the monotremes. By the way, all of these were egg-laying too. Probably not. Because because reptiles are egg-laying. And then the marsupials, and finally the placentals. Although there are still some monotremes, marsupials, and placentals. There are a lot of placentals around. There are still some monotremes and marsupials. All of these forms are extinct. But it's kind of showing you the evolution there. Okay, so tonight you read 30.2. You need to start memorizing some of these orders. If there's a quiz tomorrow, you'll probably see them on there. Multiple yeah. choice form. And we need to watch this video. Will us out.